Hey guys, what's up? This is Bri. I am sitting here preparing for module six on sleep, one of our core fundamentals, eating, moving, sleeping, breathing, focusing, celebrating, prospering, the seven optimized core fundamentals that make up the fundies of module six in our mastery series for our optimized coach program. Hanging out here in the office. Uh, we are now in the country outside of Austin. Anyway, I just created a video overview for our head coach, Michael, to give him some insights into how I'm thinking about the practice exercises. And I was also thinking about, here we go, 1,000 second timer. Means we get up, do some burpees. I already did 88 of them so far today. Eight sets of 11. I will spare you the burpees, but I am excited to share with you some thoughts. Um, I'm also considering, I'm bringing Philosopher's Notes TV back. Going to keep on doing the plus ones, of course. Um, and I had the idea this morning of, you know what? It might be fun to do one of these behind-the-scenes videos on kind of like the number one insight from the day. So super simple, casual like this. What's the biggest takeaway that I've gotten for today? Whether it's from a book I'm reading or a class I'm preparing for, whatever. So long prelude. Here we go. Sleep. This is the class, it's got a lot of different variables, right? Why we sleep, why we don't sleep, we're gonna lean heavily on the science of sleep. Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep, the number one book we recommend to our coaches. Um, check it out, check out the notes, etc. I'll do a PNTV on that soon. Uh, why we don't sleep, we talk about the 10 sleep kryptonites, the 10 things that get in the way that we need to deal with. Then we talk about the fact that we're well-adjusted, sleepwalking, blind zombies. Short story here is, when you're sleep deprived, you don't know how sleep deprived you are. Oh, and by the way, the recommended amount of sleep uh, is seven to nine hours of sleep. Two thirds of people get less than eight hours of sleep. If you consistently get less than six to seven hours of sleep, you double your risk of cancer. There you go. Then we have a brief history of light and blue light. Short story here. The sun was the only source of blue light forever. And then over the last, you know, whatever, few decades and, and really hyper accelerated with smartphones, boom, we're blowing ourselves up at night with blue light. That is unbelievably toxic. We've gone from sleeping 10 hours to eight hours to less than seven hours. And, and as a result, we've doubled our risk of cancer. And of course, that's just another pandemic out there. So the number one tip is break some icons, smash some screens, have a digital sunset, have a last input of technology so you can get a good night of sleep. We'll talk about cortisol vis-a-vis -vis melatonin. Then we're gonna say, look, make a decision. Be the iconoclastic hero of your own life rather than watching pseudo heroes and being entertained, choose to be actualized. We're gonna talk about some true heroes or whatever heroes out there that are, are prioritizing sleep. Jeff Bezos gets eight hours of sleep. Warren Buffett says he won't trade a good night of sleep for profits. Then you look at LeBron James and other athletes, they get 11 to 12 hours of sleep a night. What are you missing? Thinking you can get by on five or six hours or even seven hours and perform at a peak level. Then we have curfews. What are the curfews we need to set? Caffeine, exercise, eating, work and screens. Then the reason I turned on this video is to talk to you about training tranquility. A lot of people have a hard time falling asleep at night. Why is that? And then they get up in the middle of the night, boom, buzzing. Well, if you're blowing yourself up all day, every day, good luck flipping the switch and going to sleep. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, then we got to revisit our identity. Our whole optimized coach program is about helping you create an identity of you at your best energy, work and love wise. Who are you at your best? Right? Energy, work and love wise. I'm an athlete. I'm a philosopher and I'm a soulmate to my wife and kids and frankly, to everyone with whom I, I connect longer chat. So then act like that best version of you right now consistently, which is, by the way, the number one tip sleep scientists give is have a consistent nighttime ritual. So we'll talk about that. Then we talk about doing the math, um, knowing that the amount of time you spend in bed is actually not how much you slept. 85% sleep efficiency is actually pretty good. So if you're in bed for eight hours, you may want to pause for a moment because you might not be getting even the minimum seven hours of sleep in that period. If you're in bed for seven hours, you're definitely not getting the required, uh, recommended seven hours of sleep. So check in on that. Um, whatever. More on that. Check out the Mastery Series and the Coach Program for more. Um, for now, training tranquility. Right. So if you have a tough time falling asleep and then you get up and you're buzzing in the middle of the night, and we got a lot of coaches ask us, asking me for coaching on this, there are a couple of things going on. 
my hunch is you are constantly redlining it. During the day, you are creating what we call enervated anxiety. Every single time you get a break, a free moment, what do you do? You go check your email, you go check Instagram, you go check something online, you look at your smartphone again, another text message. Well, guess what? If you're constantly in that state of on and a little bit of cortisol, what's up chicken? A little bit of cortisol is constantly coursing through your body. You trained anxiety. We need to train tranquility. And the way you do that is you write two different algorithms. Again, longer chat, but the short story. You write two algorithms, one during the day and another at night. And algorithms is a word we use um, to, we have a whole module in our mastery series to use your willpower wisely to install habits that run on autopilot via algorithms. If this happens, then I will do that. You basically wanna set up your entire life with one long string of different algorithms and know how you respond to different situations. It's how a Tesla drives itself. These are just algorithms, right? So we need to be self-driving and do the right thing without having to think about it, right? So anyway, that's one of the big things of our program. But for now, here we go. You can go, well, I gotta give a little more context here. I talk a lot about the fact that in any given moment, you can choose to go forward or you can choose to go backward. You can pay attention to your inner daimon, your inner soul, or your inner demon, which, by the way, is the diminutive of your daimon, which is Greek for soul. The Romans called that a genius, right? Genius, daimon, those are the same words for that inner guide within you, that the best within you. And our whole work together is to help you be that best version of you more and more consistently. That's not an abstract thing. Moment to moment to moment, you have a choice. Plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. At the end of the day, if you've got a lot of plus ones, you're feeling great. You finish the day, you high five the family on the way in the door. It's just a good night too, right? If on the other hand, you paid attention to the demon too many times, minus one, minus one, minus one, what do you do? Jeez, I don't know, what do you do? There's where addictive habits come in. We wanna numb ourselves, whether it's drinking or, or whatever other excess internet usage, whatever it is we do, we're angry, we're hostile, et cetera, versus joyful, et cetera. And then guess what? That's just how it is. Again, all the ancient philosophers tell us, if there's a gap between who we're capable of being and who we're actually being, ah, that's where anxiety, regret, disillusionment, ick exists. Close the gap, close the gap, close the gap, go plus one. Now, back to our training tranquility theme here. If you feel tempted, let's say you had a great deep work session, whole nother chat there, right? And you're, you're tempted to enervate yourself by, you know, checking, like I said, email, another text, uh, Instagram, whatever, then write a new algorithm. If you feel tempted to do that, then energize, truly recover. We talk a lot about oscillating. You want to be on and then you want to be off. If you're on all day, there's no way at the end of the day you're suddenly gonna be good at dropping off, which is why your mind's buzzing at night, you can't fall asleep, and it gets you up even if you do fall asleep, right? Bah, I'm wired at two. Why? Because you constantly jacked yourself up. Calm yourself down. Energized tranquility. Take a few deep breaths. Go for a walk. Connect with some loved ones. Meditate. Do whatever it is you do to feel energized. Truly recover. And what you did was you trained yourself to be more tranquil, rather than to be more enervated and anxious and driven, uh, jacked up, right, with the cortisol, etc. Now, if you do that all day, I promise you, you will have a much easier time falling asleep at night. Now, when you get up at night, we all do inevitably at times, particularly when we're really going for it, then you run a different algorithm. So that's algorithm number one. If I feel tempted during the day, then to enervate myself, then I will energize, minus one to plus one. Now, at night, if I get up buzzing or I can't fall asleep, then I do what we call a needs work analysis. You go back and you quickly think of, wow, what moments during the day did I, I oops it and not run the algorithms? And you don't shame yourself. You don't beat yourself up. You just say, oh, okay, I could have done that. In hindsight, at that moment, when I go, went and wasted 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 minutes, and I just went all day hard, I could have gone for a walk or I could have uh, meditated, or I could have taken a breathing exercise, whatever it is you do to energize. Fine, you needs work it, and then you do not think about whatever your mind's buzzing about. You're not gonna solve your life's problems at 2 a.m. or at 11 when you're trying to fall asleep. 
You, you, know, you want to get a good night of sleep so you can hit that hard the next day. Don't think. Not allowed to think. You need to work it, then you breathe. We, next session in our fundies, by the way, is breathing. So I'm going to teach our coaches how to breathe and how to teach them how to teach their clients how to breathe properly. And I have a certain count that I do every single time I meditate, every single time I take a nap, every single time when I fall asleep, and every single time when I get up in the middle of the night. It's inhaling to six, holding for one, and exhaling for eight. Important data. In through my nose, down into my belly, back out through my nose, right? Six, one, eight. Let's do that one right now. Just take a breath. You may not be able to do it quite that way, but let's have a nice light yet deep into our diaphragm breath in hold it briefly then exhale slightly longer than our inhale which by the way is one of the ways to flip your parasympathetic nervous system and relax i'm going to do it you can do it if you want I don't know about you, but if you actually did that, it's always astonishing to me how one breath can just drop you in into a more tranquil state. Now, if you wake up in the middle of the night or can't fall asleep, then whatever. Needs work it. And you get a bonus meditation in. You don't need to shame yourself again. We're not thinking. We're going to learn what we could have done a little bit better so we get better and we spiral up. And we get a little bonus meditation and boom, there you go. We're training our tranquility which will help us not just in our sleep, but in our work and in our love and in our optimizing so we can be the best version of ourselves and serve heroically. Let's do that today. Hey guys, what's up? This is Bri. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. A lot of people wonder what else we have going on. So I just wanted to do a really quick uh, kind of tour of our program. We've got two major things. We've got the Optimize Core Membership Program and then we have Optimize Coach. So the Optimize Core membership program gives you instant access to over a thousand Optimize Plus Ones, over 500 Philosopher's Notes, and 50 Optimal Living 101 classes. We got a little video you can check out. We have a free trial, 14 days. After that, it's like $12.99 a month or like eight or $9 a month or something if you do the annual package. Uh, we've got some of my friends and, and world-class peak performers who are Optimize members. You know, Tal Ben Shahar taught two of the largest classes in Harvard's history says that he starts every single day with an Optimize Plus One, which is um, humbling and awesome. Mark Devine, former U.S. Navy SEAL commander, um, dear friend, he also starts his days with Optimize Plus One to win the mind, etc. Marcy Shimoff loves Philosopher's Notes. Ben Greenfield, another friend and coach, um, says that Optimize is you know, his place to go for a deep dive into some of the world's best books via the Philosopher's Notes. Well, thank you, Ben. I appreciate that you think it's an indispensable resource. Anyway, that's Optimize. You can start your free trial. Um, learn more about us at optimize.me. Part one. Part two is we have something called Optimize Coach, where we help people who want to move from theory to practice to mastery, to master themselves, serve heroically, and empower others to do the same. Because we want to change the world one person at a time together, starting with you and me. Uh, we've trained over a thousand coaches from over 50 countries around the world. Um, and this is just where I bring my best stuff to bear. We have something called a mastery series where I distill every single thing that I've studied into one program, 300 days, 25 lessons spread out over seven modules. Um, we get feedback like this. You know, I already had two coaching certifications, but Optimize Coach was indisputably the most valuable I have taken. Um, Barb, so appreciate you and that. Um, we have uh, hundreds of testimonials from people telling us how it's affected their lives. So you can cruise on over to optimize.me slash coach to learn more about that. Um, and there you go. Optimize, we are here to help you master yourself so you can serve heroically to empower others to do the same. Let's change the world one person at a time together, starting with you and us today.